Hello, my name is Pramod and today I will be discussing how system composer sequence diagrams from release R2022B can automatically be reused as an assessment in the context of a system level simulation. In release R2021A, we introduced sequence diagrams as an authoring tool for describing high level system architectures by adding lifelines, drawing messages with triggers and constraints. To specify further behavior, we can also include fragments and operands on the interaction. For more information on how to author sequence diagrams, refer to these additional resources linked in the description below. In the intersection control interaction shown here, we have described the following scenario as an informal requirement on the system's expected behavior. When a pedestrian presses the cross button on the main street, stop the traffic across all intersections and indicate to the pedestrian that they can safely cross. With the component behavior defined in the architecture, now we would like to verify whether the simulation of the model conforms to the behavior conditions specified in the sequence diagram interaction. To do this, we've introduced a new simulate section on the sequence diagram toolstrip in release R2022B. To start off, let us execute the current sequence diagram by stepping through each message. The first message on the diagram is now styled green with a check mark indicating that it has been hit. Like on the composition editor toolstrip, we can also pause or stop the model from simulation. Now let's continue the execution of the sequence diagram until the end. Looks like the model simulation conforms to the behavior specification on this interaction and our requirements engineer is happy. Let's take a look at another example. We've expanded a previous requirement to also account for the cross button on the side intersection. When a pedestrian presses the cross button on either the main street or the side street, stop the traffic across all intersections and indicate to the pedestrian that they can safely cross. We have authored the behavior requirement using an alt fragment indicating that the pedestrian can press the cross button from either street. Let's simulate this sequence diagram. We notice that the message from the light sequencer to the main hardware interface is styled red with a cross mark icon indicating that the model simulation did not satisfy the constraints specified on the message. Let's inspect the model to see why this is happening. The pedestrian lamp message from the light sequencer to the main hardware interface depends on the lamp control main output symbol. Let's fix the behavior implementation by going into the light sequencer state flow component. In the state transition here, we notice that the lamp control main data is incorrectly set to yellow. We'll change this to red here. We can clear prior execution results on the diagram by pressing the clear results button and execute the sequence diagram again. Our model simulation again confirms to the sequence diagram specification. Observing sequence diagram interactions is also possible via the sim function by setting a model parameter. The resulting output field on the simulation output object indicates whether the sequence diagram completed execution and the number of errors observed during simulation. We can also use the Simulink Test Manager to create custom simulation test cases for sequence diagrams by setting the observed sequence diagrams model parameter. In summary, we've seen how a systems engineer can describe and validate scenarios between various components in their architecture model using sequence diagrams. Thank you for watching.